Hello and welcome to uh, our presentation regarding the Integrated Research Infrastructure for Social Science in Australia, the proposed IRIS project, part of the ARDC's Humanities, Arts and Social Sciences and Indigenous Data Research Data Commons. I, my name is Dr. Stephen Keckram. I'm the Director of the Australian Data Archive. Uh, part of the Centre for Social Research and Methods at the Australian National University. And I'm presenting on behalf of the project partners uh, involved in IRIS. My aim today is to give you an overview of the IRIS project, the foundational issues that we're looking to address with IRIS, how we intend to go about them, uh, and a, an, a sense of how you might be involved and, uh, and looking forward to receiving your feedback about the program itself. So a short summary uh, for, for reference, uh, we'll outline the, the basic problems and drivers um, that uh, are driving our intended uh, uh, IRIS project. What are the, the key uh, solutions or enablers that we, we're looking to use? What's the approach we intend to use? What's the work packages that we uh, are looking to undertake as part of this project over the next two years through until June, 2023? Uh, and what's the overall impact we expect to see on both research and policy going forward uh, once IRIS is fully implemented. So a quick introduction to the problem that we're looking, or the set of problems we're looking to solve. Australia has a number of institutional level social science uh, uh, facilities that support parts of the, the overall demand for social science data and infrastructure uh, amongst Australian social science researchers. But that infrastructure, for the most part, is largely bespoke, small scale and uh, fractured in, in its approach. So what we're looking to do is to bring together these uh, sets of institutional infrastructure into a larger national framework. We need to be better integrated and interoperable in order to keep up with the sorts of global research and, and infrastructure developments that are currently operating internationally, particularly Europe, but also the United States, to allow Australian researchers access to the sorts of facilities that their international colleagues are able to take advantage of. Australian social science research uh, represents a significant proportion of the overall research community in Australia upwards of 20% of the, uh, the research workforce. So we're looking at large scale in terms of users uh, and in aggregate, uh, large volumes of output. And Australian social science research has generally been well regarded in, internationally in terms of its uh, research activity. But now we need to continue to develop the research infrastructure alongside that to support those emerging needs of that, that community. Australian researchers also rely heavily upon government data sources. Um, the most prominent of these being the Australian Bureau of Statistics, but also policy and program departments, such as the Department of Social Services through their Longitudinal Studies program with data such as HILDA, uh, the Longitudinal Survey of Australian Children, Department of Education, Skills and, and Employment, who provides um, major administrative and longitudinal uh, data sets as well, uh, and the Department of Health, uh, through their uh, administrative data sources uh, and also major investors in data collection programs, both directly uh, and through uh, research uh, government facilities such as Australian Institute of Health and Welfare. Access to these resources and be able to analyse and use these resources is a key um, activity within the Australian social science community as well. And we need the infrastructure that allows us to both access that content and be able to integrate it with other, um, other sources of data uh, and other analytical tools and facilities um, to uh, address the research outcomes that we're interested in. Alongside that, a significant proportion of the available data um, that we require to, uh, for the evidence base for social science in Australia uh, has significant uh, ethical uh, considerations associated with it. It needs often to be kept confidential. 
and has various privacy considerations for those who have participated in the research uh, and the, or the collection of, of, of uh, data uh, about them. How do we support that? Um, those confidentiality and privacy considerations while at the same time uh, enabling data that is useful uh, for the purposes of furthering both uh, research and policy to better understand uh, the social uh, problems facing Australia. So to, in order to address some of these concerns, we need to take account of the, uh, the, the privacy and confidentiality challenges, but not while at the same time ensuring that um, suitable research outputs um, and policy outputs can result from the analysis of these uh, confidential sources in a privacy preserving manner. This is the, the focus then of the integrated research infrastructure for the social sciences, IRIS as we'll call it from here on. IRIS is intended to be developed in two phases. And here, uh, for the purposes of the Haas Research Commons, we're focusing on rate phase one. So phase one covers 2021 to 2023, uh, and is supported by the, the Haas and Indigenous Research Data Commons uh, program. Under that program, we're really focused on three objectives. Firstly, establishing a coordinated governance and access model for uh, access to data uh, and facilities for the analysis of social science um, uh, by Australian researchers. Secondly, enhancing research capacity through a stable and long-term environment for the creation, dissemination and use of data, allowing researchers to get data um, under suitable access uh, controls to the places they need uh, and work alongside other data sources uh, that allow them to understand the problems that they're, they're studying uh, to achieve suitable research outcomes. And finally, enabling a cost-effective and accessible data integration environment through which they can actually bring multiple data sources together. In phase two, which we expect to occur from June 2023 20, onwards as part of the currently, uh, the, the, the NR, uh, National Research Infrastructure Roadmap currently being undertaken by the Department of Education and Skills and, and Employment. We would be looking to expand upon the, the outcomes of uh, the initial IRIS investment to support a broader range of social science data sources, such as qualitative data and social media data, both of which have had some initial investments uh, in recent research infrastructure investments, to be able to support systems and tools for the capture and analysis of real or near, near real-time data sources, such as both social media and Internet of Things uh, sources. And thirdly, uh, to align the uh, data collection, integration and analysis uh, requirements with secure data facilities, both physical and virtual, for enabling the access to highly sensitive data uh, and to address those situations where current practices may not be sufficient to address the privacy concerns associated with certain forms of data. What are we trying to achieve? What, what's our expected outputs from the IRIS program? Four key outputs is, is, is really what we're looking to achieve. Firstly, a governance model for future social science infrastructure investments to allow us to continually bring together those uh, established social science uh, infrastructure ser and services, as well as new facilities and, and content that may come online. Secondly, to expand access to a broader and higher quality range of research and public sector data and progressively moving into related sectors such as commercial data and uh, uh, content from non-government and third sector agencies. Supporting enhanced data collections for those high volume, 
high value data uh, collections of national certificates, such as the Australian Census. And fourthly, enabling better integration of um, data from multiple sources across spatial, temporal and uh, dimensions, as well as different units of analysis. Be able to move between individual and aggregate data, uh, as well as across um, uh, geography and uh, historical time periods. So the project is intended to enable streamlined management of research data across collections in, in, in institutions, better improve data collection for pro and processing for researchers, allowing them to focus on analysis and reporting, uh, to move us from the 90% of data munching to the 10% of analysis, uh, analysis and output. Uh, and then providing a foundation for enabling sensitive data access and integration into the future. Bringing together the integration capabilities in phase one with the center sensitive data environments uh, moving forward into phase two. So how do we intend to go about this? Well, part of the, our, our intent with IRIS is certainly to leverage um, facilities and services that might be shared with the other projects inside the, the Hassan Indigenous Research Data Commons. The sorts of things we expect will be, uh, should be shared there, and I'll come back to this later in the presentation, things like vocabulary services, working with the ARDC's Research Vocabularies Australia, data repository services, uh, across the, the multiple projects and collections, providing additional support for Indigenous data collections to support the Indigenous data network, uh, leveraging the shared access and governance arrangements for Indigenous collections being established uh, through the Indigenous data network, uh, and looking at access and authentication models across HAS collections and related domains, such as health and environmental science, leveraging both uh, a shared program of work within the Hass Commons, as well as related activities within the Cadre project to coordinate access for data researchers and environments, uh, and a number of other ARDC and increase investments. The sorts of impacts we expect to, expect to see resulting from this work? Well, expanding the ability of social science research to contribute to public policy development, being able to contribute to the competitiveness of Australia's companies uh, and, and other sectors, recalling that uh, the humanities, arts and social sciences encompasses uh, the business and economics uh, uh, disciplines who can uh, have a significant con contribution to make and have strong connections into the private sector uh, in Australia and overseas. Expanding and supporting improvements in the quality and quantity of social science research and the competitiveness of Australia's academic institutions relative to our international collaborators and competitors in the research sector, providing a more productive research environment for social science researchers, less time wrangling, more time analyzing, more time writing, reducing the time to publication for, your, for research. And lastly, to enable the coordination of data investments across the social sciences in academia and government, and progressively into the private and third sector uh, communities. In terms of our partners, contributors to the IRIS project include the University of Melbourne, the University of Queensland, the Australian National University, where, uh, where the Australian Data Archive is based and the Australian Urban Research Infrastructure Network, along with the major partner, the Australian Research Data Commons. And we do expect more partners to come as we develop uh, this, work, this work program uh, in, the, in the weeks and months to come. We'll very much emphasize reuse in the, the development of our project. Key to the development of virus will be the reuse and extension of existing infrastructure, both in the social sciences and in the e-research environment in Australia and internationally. This includes support for things like standard, standards-based systems throughout the research lifecycle, 
Uh, there's heavy investment in uh, both data and metadata standards uh, in the social sciences in Australia yeah. internationally. Uh, we intend to be able to make optimal use of those to support the both the curation and integration processes uh, that are called for the IRIS facilities. There'll be a focus on reusable fair data outputs. So archival storage and access to any outputs that the result from the, the IRIS system forms part and parcel of our implementation. We'll certainly be working for integration with both national and international infrastructure in social science and e-research. Uh, an example of some of the potential collaborations that exist are listed here. And making use of standard tools uh, at the levels of infrastructure, data collection and curation uh, allows us to be able to extend both our tools and, and our facilities uh, to leverage new developments within our uh, partner organisations as well. This included certain analysis tools common in the social sciences, uh, standardised data collection tools that are often embedded uh, or subscribed to by as institutions across Australia, standard software development, uh, languages and environments, uh, and standardized systems for deployment of, of research infrastructure, such as Docker, Rocky, uh, and the like. So that's an overview of, of what we're trying to achieve using IRIS. What about the, the, the focus we have on how do we implement? So I'm going to turn now to an overview of some of the work that we intend to do within IRIS. But I want to start with how we're a, a framing model for thinking about how, how does IRIS support research activity in the social sciences. And to facilitate that, we're, we're leveraging a fundamentally a research process model to understand where each of the work packages of IRIS fit into research activities in the social sciences. Uh, this is leveraging some standard research process models from social science researchers, such as Alan Priman, uh, common uh, infrastructure frameworks, such as the Western Australian Biodiversity Science Institute, uh, a model developed for biodiversity science uh, in Australia, and also uh, tying that to an understanding of the technical considerations that are, are align with different stages in the research process, picking up on recent work from uh, colleagues at the University of Queensland, uh, implementing um, uh, technical solutions for research problems uh, at that university. So here we have a, a fundamentally a, an overview of a, a fairly standardized research process um, that not every project will go through every one of these activities, but most projects will deal with one or more of these. And given the, the emphasis in our work on integration, our key here is to be looking to integrate uh, across multiple activities, both within each of these stages and potentially across uh, different stages of the life cycle where possible. So what are the work packages we intend to undertake? I'll come back to work package one uh, in a moment, but let's start with the, the work packages that are outlined in the project plan. Two of our heavy, um, uh, our major investments in the, uh, the IRS project are aligned with uh, both access to standard, standards and, and, and practices, and then data integration uh, activities. So work package two, what we've termed VASL, Vocabularies uh, Access Service for Social Sciences in Australia, is focused on a, a core service for the creation, dissemination and reuse of classifications in vocabularies in Australian social science looking to support creation, storage, and reuse of data and metadata standards that are in common, common use uh, in a lot of Australian social science research. Things like statistical classifications, such as um, uh, the ANSCO occupational classification or the, uh, the SNOMED library. Similarly, uh, standard uh, uh, sets of uh, question responses and survey response formats. Uh, even things like sim simple items like Likert scales, um, these sorts of things that allow us to both um, streamline the process of data creation by using um, standard standard descriptions of of content, but also facilitate uh, the integration of data uh, once it's created 
by recognizing the common content within uh, new data collections they'll create. So where we might use the ANSCO uh, occupational classification in data set one, if we can recognize that, that that standard has been used in that collection and another, we have a potential point of integration of two data sources. So this becomes a foundation then for, for work package three, the geosocial uh, work package. Under geosocial, what we're looking to do is establish a search retrieval and integration environment to create new data products that integrate data across people, place, time, and space. Be able to collaborate with both research and data, government data custodians and prospective end users to integrate significant national data holdings. And the examples that we're thinking of uh, are leveraging the longitudinal studies from the Department of Social Services and the, and the census data uh, and other spatially enabled data from the Australian Bureau of Statistics, working with the University of Queensland and the Australian Urban Research Infrastructure Network to bring together uh, spatial and, and person-oriented content into a common uh, integrated data package. Work package five, uh, which we've titled Spire, survey uh, production uh, integrated research environment is intended as a means for facilitating the process of data, data creation, particularly for the workhorse um, data collection activity of, so, of social surveys in the social sciences. So SPIRE is intended to support end-to-end -end processing and metadata support for, for survey data collection and, and archiving. Uh, be able to draw upon uh, the standard um, web data collection facilities such as Qualtrics uh, and Lime Survey uh, and potentially other uh, environments that are already web enabled but often are uh, not aligned with the storage and uh, archival uh, preservation environments that we need to be able to maximize the reuse of such data. So we're looking here at using survey data collection, supporting survey data collection, uh, using a vocabulary and question bank services based upon the Vassal uh, work package described earlier, being able to harmonize archive content with existing classifications vocabularies, picking up on both Vassal and the geosocial package, and then you know, enabling throughput of newly generated survey data into data processing environments, uh, both on the researcher's desktop and into uh, cloud-based facilities or um, uh, national uh, data processing facilities such as CloudStore. Sitting alongside this, work package six cards, the curation, uh, uh, and research uh, development environment for the social sciences. What we're really looking at looking to here is a standardized program library and training packages for the management of social science research data. So what CARDS is looking to achieve uh, is uh, establishing standardized processing tools, uh, initially based in R, but also in other common library uh, statistical tools such as Stata and SPSS to be able to streamline the process of, of data management, data cleaning uh, and data quality control uh, to facilitate data integration and data processing that would be accessible through shared statistical software libraries such as R packages for use in day-to-day -day data management. So a pract practical set of tools that researchers can use on their desktop that, that or in a uh, a remote desktop environment that allows you to connect your content with um, external facilities where possible. So Spire and Cards will work together to provide the tools for processing uh, and an environment for moving content around effectively um, between the different stages of the collection process. So having described the, the core implementation, uh, the software development or infrastructure development project, uh, activities within uh, IRIS, we then have two work packages to support the both the external use of the data uh, and, and services and to coordinate activities across the program. So work package four is a series of demonstrated projects intended to establish and illustrate 
the integrated capabilities of the different services we're establishing in IRIS. And these have been aligned to project use cases, which are detailed in the, in the project plan and include a spatial data analysis demonstrator run by the University of Queensland, a sensitive data analysis demonstrator through the University of Melbourne, uh, and an Australian Census digital collection demonstrator uh, being run through the Australian National University. Alongside this, we have a work package around project coordination uh, across the different work packages to facilitate the, you know, the effective integration of uh, the work packages into a, a cohesive whole aligned with the, the integrative uh, intent of IRIS. So these include activities around project management coordination, such as uh, strategic directions, operational project management and external communications, and technical management and integration to allow uh, project-wide technical architecture design and implementation, uh, the front-end interface development and the development of a web presence for IRIS going forward. So to highlight the, say, where each of the work packages fit into the overall program, here we can see the, where each of the work packages is intended to fit within our overall IRIS uh, research process. So a uh, number of packages have, you know, applications in multiple stages in the work, the, the, the work program. Uh, and others are really focused on collection activities or curation activities and the like. But each of them is intended to, you know, to, to at least move between you know, one or more um, activities within the overall uh, research program. In addition to these, we can think about some of our existing uh, infrastructure and how they might align. Projects like the ANZ LEAD, political science, um, uh, national data collection, uh, and the cadre uh, 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 platforms project being supported by the Australian Research Data Commons as well, provide um, related facilities for uh, uh, data support and data creation, uh, as well as coordinated data access. Across the program, we're also considering potential integration activities with the, the other HASS uh, and Indigenous uh, projects, the, 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 the other three as part of this pro overall program. These include questions around access and authentication and governance, possible shared consultation activities, expectations around computation, such as you know, for high performance computing, um, graphical processing units and, and uh, artificial intelligence, whether we might have skilled, skills and training, shared infrastructure, uh, picking up on uh, some of the work that's been done within the, the skills group uh, at the Australian Research Data Commons. Uh, and then more broadly, looking at um, longer term roadmap requirements. Firstly, a, a, a HASS a Research Data Commons roadmap, looking forward to feed into both the, the short term national research infrastructure uh, uh, roadmap needs currently underway, uh, but also setting a framework for making further investments going into the future. Uh, and alongside this, legal requirements for things like data management and infrastructure going forward. Uh, we're also proposing a governance committee, a steering committee drawn from project partners, the social science research community, and government and non-government organisations to recognise and support the sorts of communities that uh, we expect IRIS to be able to contribute to, and a, an overview of the proposed breakdown of the uh, the committee is here and we'll, we'll have an independent chair drawn from the non-partner organisations uh, to lead uh, uh, the, uh, the steering committee. We bring together a large number of collaborators uh, and are continuing to expand, you know, uh, the, the set of groups we expect to be involved across the research, government, um, the discipline representatives uh, and the, the university partners. Uh, and we provide sustainable you know, program for uh, continuing this infrastructure into the future, both at, um, uh, through long-term facilities, but such as the ADA, which is now 40 years old, uh, based at ANU and the NCI National Computational Infrastructure, which we, uh, we operate, uh, and also those 
uh, investments of our project partners by leveraging reusable open source infrastructure components and really aiming to align as outlined in our phase one and phase two uh, pro uh, program proposal to with longer term national roadmap and government data agendas such as the office of the national data commissioner coming from the department of prime minister and cabinet so that's an overview of the program overall we hope that um, has been informative for you and we look forward to your feedback uh, and i've provided my contact details here if you're interested in knowing more along with those of the australian data archive and we're coordinating um, any any queries you might have on behalf of the, the iris project partners so we look forward to hearing your responses and working with you into the future thank you